Hi, I'm Dr. Romano. I'd like to go over a nice, very, or very important video on nitrogenous wastes. Let's take a look. Now, nitrogenous wastes represent one of the most significant waste products of protein and nucleic acid metabolism. That's a sure bet question. So, nitrogenous waste, we're going to look for protein as well as the nucleic acids, DNA and RNA. Now, the whole point is that nitrogen has to be removed. And the removal of nitrogen, as you know, is called deamination. The reason why is we don't need to get into the details, but nitrogen could interfere with oxidative phosphorylation. So therefore, we want to remove the nitrogen from proteins and nucleic acids. Now, nitrogen is going to be excreted in three forms, three main forms. One is ammonia, NH3. The second form is urea. And the third form is this crazy looking structure called uric acid. Now, if we just took a quick look at uric acid, now, God forbid if this ever appeared in biology and your biology teacher has to do some organic chemistry, but lucky you, I'm an organic chemistry teacher, so let's have a look. At first glance, the ring doesn't look terribly stable, but if you did a resonance form of this, let's take this ring first. If I move this out, that would get me to here. And if you notice, two, four, six. What do you remember about a six um, pi electron system? Good, it's aromatic. And if you remember, that followed the Huckel rule of 4n plus 2. So we have a ring system here, and then if you did it to the other side, you move these electrons here, you put a plus charge here, you would also get 6. So both rings are aromatic. So uric acid is very stable. Now, high levels of uric acid in the blood which is always a good question, could cause um, crystals of urate to accumulate in joints, which can cause pain and inflammation, and the disease would be called gout. And not good to have uric acid crystals because they can also cause kidney damage. Now, let's review three main things. NH3 is most commonly excreted in things like fish, so things aqu think aquatic. Um, when ammonia hits water, we all know it'll really come off as NH4+. Urea, that's in mammals, us, also mature amphibians and turtles. Now, I know what you're going to say to me, what do you mean mature um, amphibian? A young frog like a tadpole will excrete nitrogen as ammonia. All right, that's just a silly fine point. But mammals, mature amphibians and turtles, um, is urea, and finally, uric acid would be in insects, land snails, many reptiles and birds, and also, as I said, a small percent in mammals like us would be uric acid from purine metabolism of nucleic acids. <clears throat> All right, I hope this helps and gives you a good understanding of many, many types of questions that could be asked. So we want to make sure we know all the animals and organisms. We want to make sure we know deamination means protein nucleic acid. It's all in the destroyer book, so you can you can check these questions out. All right, that's it. Bye bye.